what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another episode of space engineers survival realistic all right guys we are back on the alien planet um at the end of the last episode we went ahead and we found a uranium deposit that was at the top of that mountain behind us there and then we also have another deposit that's over there on top of that hill to the south southwest direction um, and that was thanks to this little beauty right here which is the deposit scanner which we had built in the last episode and it scanned a total of 10 kilometers away from its location to find the deposits that are around us right now so Ending off the last episode, I did ask you guys for your suggestions because I was going to build a pipeline pretty much from this platform all the way up to the mountain where that deposit is at 5.1 kilometers away. So you guys did leave some really, really nice suggestions in the comment section and I want to say thank you to everyone that left uh, a tip. I want to give everyone who left a comment in the comment section just a quick kind of shout out um, just to show you guys that I really appreciate you and I'm, I am reading all the comments as they come in and you know I'm grateful for all the feedback that I am getting on my channel so far uh, Bradley Topper I want to say thank you guy um, you wanted us to build a mining ship we already have a mining ship but you wanted us to kind of incorporate it so that it's using the SAM script or the uh, PAM script either one of them would kind of work with this situation and I, I'm no doubting it would work but for efficiency because I don't know if you remember in the last episode I was having trouble just kind of maintaining the amount of ice that I have in, inside of this ship so I think that even if we're running with Pam the hydrogen that we would burn and then just to remind you we have to make sure that we have um, ice inside of here so that the ship can stay out there as long Energy as possible low. and being able to grab the resources that it needs to grab so I think that this would kind of be a little bit inefficient and th this storage on here isn't the best so it's not gonna bring back like a lot of uranium when we need it so um, your comment was really really good and I did actually think about doing that with this and seeing how it would work let me grab some energy real quick guys all right yeah so the next comment that was left was uh what well, was that was that i hear it ah behind my ship come and get me so i can kill you Ugh, jesus these spiders death of me go away okay <laughs> so we had another comment from first and last and they mentioned that we should try or it would be really really cheaty if we did this anyways and they did kind of uh, mention that we could extend the work area for the drill and fill systems that we have on this platform all the way up there to the mountain and just mine up the resources without actually having to do anything and it would work <laughs> and that would be the easiest way to kind of get this all done thank you so much uh first and last uh, <laughs> that made me chuckle when i actually saw that and it did cross my mind to actually do it uh <laughs> keep the comments coming in buddy uh the next comment was from eddie magpie which said that uh, we should actually attach a drill and fill system to the large ship and then fly up there, land the ship, and then just drill the area out if we had enough power and the storage space and we can just bring the resources back here and get them refined from the refineries here. That is a great idea. And what I am going to do today, um, I am going to kind of try to incorporate all the ideas that was left inside of the comment section just to kind of get one big pool of stuff and then see how it works so we could put a drill and fill system onto that ship but we have this module that's here that we could just attach back to and then fly up there with the drill and fill system i'm not going to do that because the we have some resources inside of here that i don't want to keep flying around with because if anything happens and we kind of lose these things we're kind of screwed so what i'm going to do today is oh another spider go away what i'm going to do today is i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to head over here and i'm going to grind this block out right 
grind that block and we're gonna build something um so we're gonna build something that's actually gonna help us to kind of get the best of both worlds so let's let's grab a rotor and i'm just gonna grab an uh advanced rotor right now and we'll just use this and we have a robot here if it's not the spiders it's the robots go away so with the rotor placed right here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build up some blocks uh, about three high like this and then we're gonna need another advanced rotor and we're gonna change the color and now we can start getting everything built up so let's go ahead and let's place this advanced rotor right here just make sure that the zero is at the front there so we'll go like this this advanced rotor let's head in here control panel and we want rotor rotor lock turn on there we go we'll turn that on and we'll come up here as well and we will turn on the rotor lock here all right nice so now let's go ahead and let's place down the landing gear rotate it facing that way um up here we're gonna use we already have the rotor so we're gonna need to do three and i want to put down a conveyor junction like this from this conveyor junction let's go ahead and let's grab up the h2o2 generators and we want to rotate this around like that and just place these down so that way we have four of them all right rotate this one Oop, am i out of what am i out of steel plates ah, i'm out of steel plates wow so now we have four o2h2 generators in here i'm gonna put down another conveyor junction like that and then on top of this conveyor junction we're gonna throw down our hydrogen tank so we'll have one hydrogen tank on here and then attached to all of the hydrogen tanks i think we're gonna want to go with some cargo containers so we'll have one con cargo container here we're gonna go with three of these guys um, around the sides and we're gonna leave the front portion open okay there we go so that's the three cargo containers the front of this Thing. we're gonna want to have a drill and fill system which we're gonna place right here we just need to check to make sure that the arrows are pointing up in the right direction so we're gonna place this here like that all right so now we have the o2h2 generators we have connections we have the drill and fill we have storage for both hydrogen to power this uh, build plus we have storage in the form of these cargo containers the next thing that we're going to need is going to be up here we are going to need a connector so let's head back here might need some solar panels just for some backup power and i think that is it oh whoops sorry oh i should have dropped on that robot <laughs> all right let's rotate this around this is going to go here and we want to put this around right here so we're going to go with two solar panels on this side and we'll jump up whoop, jump up here over on this other side here we'll rotate this around facing us and move over by one and we'll go ahead and we'll place down two more so that way we have four uh solar panels up on top all right rotate this up and we'll place this connector right here like that so that way we'll have the ship fly over dock up on this pick this up fly up drop it down and then we can get to do what we need to do um let's do a check and see if we have everything here we have our tanks our tank we have our tank we have our storage we have the conversion from ice to hydrogen 
and we have solar panels for backup power oh we do not have the hydrogen engine on this yet so let's go ahead let's throw five we're going to need to rotate this around Oop, rotate it around oh no pressing the wrong buttons there we go rotate this up and with that connection on the bottom we're gonna place this uh right here we could put it down here but i would prefer to have it attached to the hydrogen tank instead so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place that there next thing energy, low. Ooh, energy is low oh robot run away run away run away run away switch over to the gun switch over to the gun switch over to the gun oh spider switch over to the gun where's the robot come here get out of here spider get out of here Ugh. Okay, is there anyone else on my platform? No one. Ah, uh, you're, you're bugged. Head in here, get some charge. So, we don't have any power storage. So, we're, this is where we're going to need to put down some batteries. Alright, and I think if we have... Four batteries should be more than enough on here. So, I'm going to put a battery... Wait, what? Wait, I can't... Why can't I place a battery right here? So let's put a battery here for now. And let's put another one here. Maybe after we build this tank. Oh, there we go. That's so weird. Okay, there we go. All right. So four batteries, more than enough power storage. Uh, what's the next thing that we need? I don't think we need anything else, actually. It's just a matter of getting all of this stuff welded up. And then we should be able to be good to go. Okay, guys. So, um, a big issue here. We are actually out of ice. There is no more ice here. So, nothing is being ran. So, let's get to my drill and fill system here and we will go down we will take the ice and we'll move it up and we'll also enable oh, scroll up a bit there we go we'll enable the ice and we need to get to the depth and we'll say minus 50 that's where some ice should be and then we'll turn this on and get this to start pulling in some more ice ice there we go ice and pulling in some stone that should be good that should be perfectly fine now let's go to the what's that okay and i also you know what probably need to turn down the volume of this thing it's a bit too loud yeah way too loud 25 there we go way better let's head here and now let's go to o2 and let's refuel our bottle boom there we go. Alright. So this thing is almost finished. We just have to get some more power cells. And then this will be done. Oh, okay. So this thing is finished. Um, we have one battery that's on here already. That's actually almost... That's actually done and charging. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head inside here for this drill and fill system. And we're going to head down to the bottom. And we're also going to tell this thing to go ahead at minus 50, 50 meters. We're going to say show area. We're also going to say we don't want you to pull in any stones. So we're going to disable that. We're going to go up here and say take the stone priority down. And then disable the stone as well. We don't want you to pick up any stone whatsoever. Then we're going to check everything here just to make sure that everything is good. Uh-huh. Everything looks fine. Oh, the sound down to 25, please. There we go. And uranium is supposed to be the number one priority. So we're going to move this all the way up to the top. And that's it. And then we're going to turn this on for it to pull in some ice and that way once it starts pulling in the ice we can start getting the o2 h2 generators running and as you can see it does have some stone here it shouldn't pull in any stone i'm hoping it doesn't 
because I'm not telling it to mine up any stone. I just want it to get the ice. So hopefully it doesn't pull in any stone. Let's actually go and check the inventory over here. Alright, nothing in this one. Uh, which one of these has the ice? Not that one, so it has to be this one. Okay, alright, so this one is collecting ice, no stone at this point. And I do want you to kind of, once this reaches like halfway, so maybe like 210, 220,000 uh, liters, kind of turn this off. So we'll let that continue doing what it's doing. We are going to need these batteries finished off. So let's go over here and let's go to the production tab. And it's actually finishing up this stuff. I think it's going to need some more power cells. So I'm going to say make 200 power cells and make 200 solar cells and 100 bulletproof glass. Just in case if we need some more. Oh, wait. Yeah, just in case if we need some more for the... What do we need? Oh, all we need is just the solar cells. So we don't need the bulletproof glass. All we have to do now is just get the batteries kind of charged up. And get some hydrogen inside of this hydrogen tank up here. And then we'll be done. Uh, let me go ahead and check on the... Don't want this to get too heavy. Okay, so we're at 300 and... Oh, wow. It's actually a lot of ice. Um, yeah, we might not go halfway. This thing isn't on, right? No, it's not on. It is supposed to be on, but I don't think we have enough um, hydrogen yet to kind of turn it on and justify it. So we'll turn that off for now. Um, the hydrogen should be refilling. So hydrogen tank here. Yep, 2%. That is looking very very nice i'm gonna keep an eye on the amount of ice that this thing is pulling in and you know what 500,000 ice should be really good so i think we can go ahead and turn off this drill and fill system right now we don't need it anymore so turn off yeah this should be more than enough ice to just kind of fill this tank up if we need more we'll come back Okay, so what I'm going to do here, guys, I'm going to put a little cut in the video. Um, let this thing kind of fill up with some hydrogen and let the batteries kind of get charged up a little bit. We just slept through <laughs> what seemed to be a very, very, very long night. Uh, the batteries have been charging for a while now. Um, I did get attacked by some spiders that spawned on the platform and then decided to attack me. <laughs> so <laughs> had to deal with them. Uh, just spiders and robots all over the place. Okay, so we have uh, three bars on this battery and then two bars on the other ones, which is perfectly fine for now. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this uh, ship to be to come over here and lock on to this um, connector. And then we're just going to go ahead and kind of demolish everything here. Because this is built and it said that it's locked. Let's go ahead and let's grind this down just to see what the bobs do. We're going to grind all of this away. We don't need this. There we go. Let's go take the ship and then bring it over and get it all docked up and see if we are good to go. So we got this finally. Finally got this uh, attached. Now, run outside. Close the door behind you this time. There we go. Now we can come here and we could just do this. And we'll say, which lock? There we go. And we'll go. Oh, that's a lot of spiders. Spiders! There. All right. And this is going to be. I'm going to change the name of this. Oh, the landing gear uh, platform. Head back inside of this ship. Close that door. Close this. Let's go here. Okay. And let's find... Oop. Let's go G. Let's find the landing gear. 
platform right here and we're just gonna throw this right here for now I will say switch lock okay so now we should be ready to go so moment of truth everyone let's go ahead and let's see if we actually crash oh boy I don't like how this thing is shaking let's hit two there we go all right awesome 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 this is looking good this is looking good so we're just gonna fly up to that area and then just drop this off oh god this is so unstable oh we're gonna need the other thrusters to actually turn on now turn these on Oop. You don't want to roll there we go come on guys don't roll straighten yourself out there we go now we're moving ah this isn't as bad just a bit of a a little bit of a swing from left to right but nothing that this ship can't handle whoa 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 okay so now we just got to find a good spot where we can actually set this thing down okay let's break 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 head up to the top portion of here kind of rotate the ship around a little bit and let's see let's try and find a nice little area where we can just land oh man perfect time for it to get foggy perfect perfect you know oh boy all right we just got to take our time almost there oh fog doesn't help fog does not help okay so it says that the you from here the uranium is 200 meters below oh what's that oh ladybug okay okay how close am i to the ground right here all right not close enough all right, so let's go forward just a little bit more kind of straighten up just a little bit there we go there we go don't tilt too much to that side all right clear that rock and if we can touch down right about here we can start doing our scan oh there did we lock no we didn't okay so wait Oh, we didn't even go down to the ground. All right, go down, down. There we go. That's locked. Okay. Why can't I find the connector that is actually... You know what? That's fine. I'm going to go rename the connector that's actually on the... Oh, spiders. <laughs> I'm going to go see what the name of this connector is. Because for some reason, I'm supposed to be able to... Um, yeah connector bottom front interesting connector bottom front okay so now all we have to do is just unlock and fly away go back here and turn off the thrusters like that and we just need to land right next to this derelict right now turn off all thrusters so six seven thrusters are off all right kind of crooked but we'll be okay let's head over here to our uh, spiders and robots get out of here so now what we have to do we have to head here and actually you know what guys i just realized this this ship actually comes with some uranium on there um i didn't even look inside of the inventory of this ship and it has a reactor and it has like 2k uranium just sitting in here bullets a whole bunch of stuff so that's why my bullets are always like super high because i'm just taking bullets from here but that's actually pretty good and what i could do if we're actually running out of uh power up here i could build like a small reactor right here and then just um get some uranium and put it in there so that way this thing will never run out of power and actually it looks like we're actually we're good we're good 
we're actually doing pretty good the solar panels will pick up a lot of the sun and just recharge and i will probably turn on the hydrogen engine whenever we're ready um let's see control panel how's the hydrogen tank hydrogen tank yeah we're at 24 percent we're fine okay uh spider go oh, away okay let's head here go into control panel and let's set up the area that this thing needs to drill so currently the depth of the uranium is actually um how far am i from that beacon we can actually work this out so the depth of the uranium right now is a hundred roughly 150 meters below us right i am currently 74 meters away from the beacon so we need to offset this by 75 meters and go down probably 200 meters yeah so 75 meters away from where this thing is and then 200 meters down is what we need to do okay let's head in here control panel and we will go to the area all right we just want uranium we don't want any stone uh stone is disabled okay so the vertical we're gonna go down change this we're gonna go down minus 200 meters for starters and that should put us like right in the middle yeah it's 150 and i'm going down another 50 um 150 let's go 175 instead minus 175 just in case so minus 175 the area width is at max the height is at max and the depth okay area depth is at max so if i want to go to the left i should be going minus 25 let's do that and let's see oh no whoops i moved this down. <laughs> all right hold on we gotta we gotta change this again i just realized i moved that all the way down and didn't realize where it was so vertical i'm gonna put this vertical back at minus 25 so i can see where this thing is all right so minus 25 and that is over in this area okay that's not bad and let's see moment of truth guys let's see if we are actually picking up the uranium so hit on let's see what pops up all right we're seeing a bunch of stone no uranium hmm okay turn that off and you shouldn't be pulling in stone because i said no stone okay no stone good 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 it didn't bring in any stone okay so unfortunately i didn't it doesn't look like i lined this up perfectly all right guys i'm gonna go and i'm gonna see if i can figure out how i can get this thing lined up to where i need to be at. all right guys so we are back just have to clear out some of these robots uh let's go ahead and let's check on this thing and see Oh, whoops, accidentally did that. So I'm not seeing anything pop up in here, but oh, would you look at this? Look at this, guys. We are pulling in some uranium now. So this thing actually worked. Yes, <laughs> it's not a lot. Mind you, this is not a lot of uranium, but this is actually pretty good. Oh, oh, it's filling up the connector first. Okay, so we actually do have a lot of uranium. Never mind. We have a ton of uranium in here. Let's throw that in there. Hopefully it starts just throwing everything on this instead of throwing it inside of the connector. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. All right. All right, guys. So with the collection of uranium in here, I think this is a great spot to call this an episode. 
we made our little mining platform a mobile mining platform that we can move around as we see fit and just kind of drop this down wherever and just pick up whatever resources that we need so this might actually come in handy so we're gonna leave this here running so that it can pick up as much uranium as it possibly can and I'm gonna head over to my ship and actually get some energy so I hope you guys did enjoy this episode if you did don't forget to like share and leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and smash that subscribe button Oop, wasting all my oxygen go ahead and smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified of when new contents get posted to the channel and until next time everyone big up on yourself